Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family So, it is, well it's actually Monday night, I'm shopping Obviously I this vlog will come out the day after The one that you just watched Does that even make any sense? I don't know Anyway, um, we're going shopping So we haven't been shopping to do a big shop since the Monday before Christmas so that must have been like the 19th or something 20th 19th 20th December obviously we've been to get bits and pieces and stuff like that but we haven't done a big like fill up your cupboards vlog shop or vlog um since back in December so we're running really low on a lot of things um we need a lot of stuff um I don't want to go in there and get all the stuff because it's going to take ages but we have to because we need food so anyway we're going to start at asda and just get it done i'm just going to get it done so we're going i'm just going to get it done it's the same business with a different That's the first trip around Asda Dunn. We're going in for a second round. It's freezing. It's like minus three or something. It's very, very cold, which is why I've got the hood up because I've left my hat at home. Um, but anyway, we're going in for round two. Right, we're done in Asda. Actually, I didn't. I thought I was going to need a lot more the second time round. It is freezing. Even the doors are sticking. So I, I spent ages defrosting my car this morning. I then had to defrost my car again when I came out to go shopping. And um, now the doors are freezing up. They saw the shop again. Frozen truck. Anyway, um, I think we got most of the things that we need. I've still got quite a lot of stuff that I need to get in Tesco. Uh, but I think. I think we got most of the stuff we needed so lately i switched to elbow grease washing up liquid i've always used fairy and i know a lot of people will say oh you should use the cheaper ones they're just as good but i'm really particular about my washing up liquid i like to feel that everything feels squeaky clean when i wash up um and fairy was the only one that ever used to kind of make it feel like that but lately i don't know whether they've changed the ingredients or changed the makeup or whatever of it but the normal fairies are now not as good as they used to be if i'm sure if you buy like the platinum one or whatever it's better but um i don't i don't know what's happened but it's not as good so i started using the elbow grease washing up liquid it's either 89p or 99p or it might be a pound it's no more than a pound it's brilliant absolutely brilliant um, I was ending up using much more fairy just to make it feel like I was cleaning it properly. Like I said, I'm very particular about washing up. Um, so yeah, give it a go. Elbow grease washing up liquid. You can get it in Asda. You can also get it in like Home Bargains. And I'm not sure about B&M. Probably B&M. The other thing. So we use um, Oral-B Professional Protection toothpaste because it's like sensitive whitening we've all got since all the older ones and us have got really sensitive teeth um i normally buy the mega pack from tesco's from asda sorry and i know it's normally i swear it was like four pounds maybe five lately it used to be like two pound for a normal tube now i haven't been gone for that long and it's really not that long since i last bought toothpaste but it was seven pounds for a tube of toothpaste in there tonight 
Now, I don't know what's happened since I last bought toothpaste literally like two weeks ago. But how is a big pack suddenly £7? I mean, it's on one of their star products. But I swear that it wasn't £7 before. I don't even, I don't know if it was £5 because it's a, it's a mega pack. So it is bigger. So it is more than just a smaller pack. But it, it's not that long since I bought it. But £7 for toothpaste. I mean, butter's gone down to like £3. I'm not paying £7 for toothpaste. Um, there's only a few toothpaste that I can use that don't make my teeth really, really sensitive. And that's one of them. So I'm going to see if I've got it cheaper in Tesco. Because I really don't have to pay £7 for toothpaste. That just seems ridiculous. I mean, why has it suddenly gone up like £3 in price? Anyway, <coughs> we are going to eat some chocolate now and go to Tesco. Right guys that is it we are done um it's minus three again it's very very cold i might have mentioned that it's cold quite a few times so rewind back to the seven pound toothpaste in asda it was three pound 70 for the same amount in tesco so there's either an error in their pricing because it definitely said um, professional protection 125 mils um, because I checked it like three times because I couldn't believe that that one and the healthy whitening one <clears throat> were both seven pounds each couldn't believe it so there's either an error or what's that all about Asda do you know what I mean but flip that to Tesco so I always I use the simple um, face wash because I've got really sensitive skin on my face so I always use a simple age resisting I think um, face wash it's normally with all the other face washes didn't have any as to this time it's normally 250 or three pounds same as all the other simple face washes Tesco's today seven pound 20 all the other ones two pound 50 seven pound 20 right so I went online because I'm not paying seven pound 20 for it I went online and Boots have got it for £3. So somebody tell me why Tesco's are charging £7.20 for the same one. I think that's a bit of a scam. So I think that's really unfair. It's like, as soon as you add age resistant to something, they think they can scam people out of money. It's not gonna happen. Not when I know that I can get it cheaper. I think that's really bad. I mean, I can understand some shops being like 50p more or, and then you might think, oh, you know, and sometimes things are on special offer. But a whole like extra, what, five pounds nearly? That's really bang out of order. Anyway, we're done. I'm going home. I'm gonna take this lot back and see what we've got. There's so much stuff. <laughs> Saying it like I don't know, so I can afford it all. Stuff. I know how much stuff there is. We pretty much run out of everything. Pretty much run out of everything, didn't we? I haven't been shopping since, I'm sure it was like the 19th or 20th of December, which is like, are you trying to cut my head off? Sorry, sorry, I'm just, I'm just, there's enough there to feed 14 people. Cut my head off. Um, there is enough there to feed 14 people, yeah. People are always astonished by the amount of shopping we've got. There's 14 of us. It's a lot, a lot of people to eat. Um, yeah, there's a lot of food. It's a because lot of stuff. I haven't done, I've done, I've got a couple of bits here and there, but I haven't done a proper shop since before Christmas. So this is kind of a, a massive, massive shop. Post Christmas, big shop. That's got to be a tagline right Hopefully, there. Hopefully next week we won't need as much stuff. Obviously the fresh stuff, but I've stocked my cupboards up as well. Should we have a look? <sighs> right, we're going to have a look.
Okay, guys, I am going to start from this end this week. So we have got bananas, loads of bananas. It actually looks like you've doubled up this week. Have you doubled up on the stuff, have you? On the foods and stuff. Um, we've got honey for breakfast. We've got Florence's um, fruit. So we've got the Ellis Kitchen. She loves this stuff. Um, she loves it for lunch and for dinner. So we've got the green one there, which is the apple, apple one. We've got the pink one, the raspberry one. We've only got one of each milk because we do actually have milk in the fridge because milk and bread are one of the things that we keep we keep buying throughout the week. But lots of this stuff we did actually properly run out of, didn't we? we have so, out of a lot. so we ran, we ran out of the jam. jam, completely run out of jam. So you may see that um, there's a couple of, there's there's two or three of, of things just there's to... Two jams. Yeah, two jams, basically. One, one for now, one for the cupboard. So there's two jams there. Um, we've only just opened the other coffee, so we've got our coffee there. We have got cereal bars. We have got sweeteners, because I have one for work and I've run out. In fact, no, I had to use the ones from work, didn't I? Yes. That I keep in my one pocket, because we ran out. So we've got two of those there. Like I said, we've got the bananas. So we have got carrots, spring onions. So the spring onions are for uh, pastas and stuff like that, but Carrots and offer salads and things, yeah, I'm guessing. Lunchboxes. Lunchboxes, salads, salads peppers, peppers, peppers as well. Chopped up for lunchboxes, for the girls' lunchboxes. Uh, mm -hmm. We have got five of one bars there. We have got bourbons, Nutra grain bars, yogurt flakes. Florence likes those, doesn't she? Those, those yogurt no. flakes. Does she not? Oh, I thought she liked those. because no, she can't eat them properly. She can't chew them properly. Oh, right, okay. We tried it once and she nearly choked, so we didn't. Yeah. Ice gems. She likes ice them. gems. I haven't seen them for ages. But they just eat off the top, don't they? Yeah, well, we used to as kids as well. We used to just eat the ice off the top, didn't we? Yeah, they do that. Uh, go go squeeze for Agnes. So she's still on a go go squeeze. Uh, are they all apple and mango, don't they? Oh, yeah. Her favourite. She likes. We are getting through an absolute ton of shreddies at the moment. Everybody seems to be into shreddies, including myself. I include, include myself in that because we, because we did have cereal gate, didn't we? Cereal gate. What well, you've got? Like <laughs> I don't know how many bottles of honey and nut granola or something in there, and you don't eat yeah, but, it. Yeah, uh, but yeah, but I I used to love that, but now I like shreddies. You know, at some point you could eat up the stuff. Yeah, yeah, well I will. Yeah, yeah, I will. At some point I will. Right, so we've got shreddies. We've got. Maryland minis. These are the like pat lunchy stuff, aren't they? As well, snacks. Yeah. Snacks. Oreos, milk free. Even though they look like they've got a splash of milk in them, but they haven't. They're milk free. Uh, we have got penguin bars for pat lunches and stuff. We have got custard creams there. Um, Rocky bars. We have also got. I didn't say about the apples. This so we've got apples. We've got the brave and apples, which I absolutely love. Those and the Granny Smiths. Uh, is that one of those ones there? I think it is. Oh, party rings there as well. This is quite a big top up, isn't it? These are things we don't normally see. So, are empty. yeah. So we've got, as uh, as Florence calls them, berries. So we've got blueberries, uh, kiwis there as well. Grapes, grapes. green and red, mm -hmm. green and red grapes. Good, good. Lettuce, obviously for salads and sandwiches, which we chop up and normally keep in a tub. So we've got lettuce there as well. Then we've got um, yogurts because we're back on a health kick now, aren't we? We're going back on a health kick with the yogurts. <laughs> Following our Christmas binge. Well, I've still got a whole load of chocolate down there to eat. When's that's that going to get? make me feel slightly better about eating the chocolate that's down there. That's what it is to it. Okay, so we've got cucumbers. We have got the kids' afters. They like to have chocolate mousses for afters. We've got fruits. We've got um, Eva's faves, some pepperamis, some mini pepperamis, uh, cheese strings for palanches there, uh, a very varied selection of pastas because we actually like to have these this pasta, whereas the kids like to have the twisty pasta. So we've got a big bag of Fusely pasta for like the family size one. Fusely's there as well. And then just hiding behind that, we've got the sandwich village, we've got the smoked ham, uh, a big one, and we've got, chi is that a big chicken as well? Uh -huh. A big chicken as well from Tesco's. Where's that one from? Asda and Tesco's. Oh, okay. Right, so we've got the mozzarella there for um, the old, what are they called? Pizza bagels. Pizza bagels. Um, and then we've got some flora there. So, love this stuff. We've had, it, we've had that for ages now, haven't we? That, yes. Which is the vegan version. It's really good. 
Uh, we've got wildlife yogurts there, two packs of those. We've got Dairy. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, it's vegan. Yeah, it's vegan. It's the vegan. Yeah, it's vegan. It's the vegan one. Do you remember? We looked yeah, at, I know, um, but I, they change the ingredients on things sometimes, and I, I wasn't sure. Yeah, but it was the one, if you remember, it's the one that Belle, Belle got for baking, and she said, um, oh, it's a lot better, didn't you, Isabel? Back yeah. me up on that. Okay, then. So we have got back here, we have got pasta sauces, tomato and herb pasta sauce. Which, where's that one from? Is that from Tesco's? Uh -huh. Okay, so we've got that one. Then we've got a spicy tomato pasta sauce. Uh, pasta bake. Yeah, they prefer Ooh. it to the pasta sauce. Are you actually doing a pasta bake, are you? No. All right, just, just like that, pasta sauce. Right. Chopped tomatoes. What's chopped tomatoes for? The cupboard. Okay, and then we've got baked beans and sausage there, some, some top-ups and uh, some spaghetti wings. We have got a huge rice. Are we doing anything ricey this week, are we? Okay. Curry. Oh, yeah, curry. Okay. So we have got... Loads of curry sauces. Tikka masala. Another one of those pastas. Is it gel frazy as well? Or oh, like a gel frazy? Okay. Tikka masala, right, cool. Uh, super noodles there. Just, we've got a few in the cupboard anyway, haven't we? So it's just one to top up. And then obviously, so two punnets of chicken. Go for it. 20 quid's worth of chicken there. Just, just a lot of chicken. Because every time I make the curry, there's never enough. Because more and more people are liking the curry. Which is good, because more and more people are trying it. But it's one of the meals that m pretty much 99% of people will eat. So obviously we need a lot of chicken to do it. So I just bought two because I thought that's just... Well, yeah. So it's the so most, got, you know, most reasonable. Then, especially when you're feeding like teenage boys who like... Well, no, no he's eating loads now, isn't he? Just suck up the food. Do you know what I mean? Just hoover it up and it's gone. <laughs> gone. Right. Uh, a favourite in the house is now ranch. The girls love the ranch. We've got mayo there, a couple of sauces, a couple of ketchups, a couple of ketchups to top up because we're nearly out of that. Uh, bread sticks. I'm guessing they're for like snacks, right? I think it's not. Are they snacks? Are they not the milk free? I think they're milk free. Yeah. So Agnes really likes. Ah, them. right. Okay. Um, I can't remember if they're. They I don't think they're vegan, they're but they are. Um, milk free and they're vegetarian so she likes them okay classic breadsticks there two of those uh, then we've got a couple of garlic breads for pasta night we've got a brown bread there the hovis bread there as well three of those we'll get through that bread in no time at all won't we to be honest with you yeah. uh, we've then got some croutons I'm guessing for salads we have got oh spicy oh that's quite nice that stuff yeah I bought it for anybody who um is out working Obviously, or oh, whatever. There's old ones that don't always, they're not always here at meal times. So I'm trying to keep some bits and pieces in that they can just make. And this is really nice. This, and it was on special offer. It's really, really nice. You just um, heat it up. It's like a lentil, spicy, beany kind of stew. It's really nice. Cool. You've had it before. You just put it with rice or whatever. Yeah. So try and keep some of the stuff in like that, that they can just quickly do if they're out late. So we've got a gravy there as well, a huge gravy, and then this stuff. Now the older girls love this stuff. No, Olivia, it's basically Olivia's. It's basically Olivia's. I'm not it's a red hot sauce. She, lives she absolutely hot loves it. Nan breads for curry night. So coriander and normal. Mm. Yeah, garlic and coriander and normal. No, Quite a few. Just garlic and just coriander. coriander. Uh, and then there's some cup of soups there because the girls are buying these for lunches. Are you? Um, are you buying cup of soups for lunch? Well, Olivia says she wants to try some. Oh, right, okay. Soup. Uh, then some oxo there as well. Um, Josie's favourite. We've got the brioche rolls there. Um, we've got wraps there as well. Wholemeal wraps as well for lunches. We have got Harissa folded flatbreads for lunches yeah. for school. Uh, Toby's favourite, the plain brioche buns. Our brioche buns for chicken burger night. And then various packets of bagels there for pizza bagels and also for Lizzie and, and people they like that stuff. Oh, you, bagels are for me. And you like to have bagels for your breakfast, don't you? No, for my lunch. For your lunch. Oh yeah, for your lunch, sorry. And then at the front we've got a huge top up of pot because we have totally run out. And the juice as well. So the quadruple straight juice. Juice as well. So apple and blackcurrant, cherries and berries. Standard. Standard for us. Right. 
I think that is the top. Okay, so if there's a bit of rustling in the background, that's Isabel. She's just sorting the cupboards for us. So we've got a huge, uh, no, well, normal sized toilet roll that we normally get every week. We've got Pepsi Max there as well for the kids. We have got bold washing tablets. What flavour are they? Sorry? The Northern Solstice. Northern Solstice? Northern think... Solstice? What does that I smell don't like? I don't know, but they were on special offer and I thought, oh, that looks nice. I'll buy them. They're on special offer. So I don't know what Northern Solstice is supposed to smell like. I can't smell anything anyway. Um, they all smell the same. <laughs> Northern Solstice. I've never even heard of that sort of It smells of flavor. nice. I always use bold, but um, I think I've got the Mrs. Hinch one at the moment, which are really nice. They're quite nice. The only ones I don't like are lavender and chamomile. Okay. Okay, so we've got juice as well. So we've got orange juice and apple juice there, which the kids like. Uh, we've got... I had to buy that because they didn't have any Asda. All right, okay. So we've got two kitchen rolls there. We've got a couple of boxes of wipes because we've topped up this week. We normally have one in the cupboard upstairs, don't we? And mm -hmm. one downstairs. So that's to top up I mean, nappy top bags up and all, all that kind well, of stuff as well, isn't it? That, I mean, like this stuff is, it's not just going to, you know, it's going to last a few weeks. It's not just yeah. a week's worth of shopping. Yeah. This was the elbow grease I was talking about in the car. Elbow grease washing up liquid. Okay. It's really, really good. Zoe's fine. That is, that is really, really good, actually. It is really good. It is good. Ben was, ben was not convinced. I am convinced now. Now I've been using it for a few weeks. I am very much convinced. Um, what else have you got in there? I don't know. We have got bags. More bin bags. We have got... I like this. Since you've been buying us this, I like the original sauce. It's really nice. It's very yummy. Oh my God, there's loads in there. We've got... Like you've just showed us there, the elbow grease. We have got Dove. Conditioner, I'm guessing, and all that kind of stuff. Hand wash. We have got the old Asda's uh, wrapping foil, which we've, we, we've used for ages now. Uh, there's creams there, Dettol spray, baby wash, toothpaste. There's all sorts of stuff. Paracetamol spray, loads of stuff in there. Right, okay, cool. Right, moving on then. Is that rolling as well? Is it rolling as well? Moving on then. So frozen. So we've got these because Noah's chosen these. Noah's got a little job um, and now and again he works over in Lossy Mouth and these are for him to throw in the microwave because he's chosen these ones, hasn't he? So here's ma macaroni cheese. Uh, we have got waffles. We have got hot and spicy fries. We have got chips there and are they curly fries? This is a massive top. Yeah. We've run out of all that stuff. Chicken bit, chicken massive. bites, chicken poppers. Uh, what else? Sausages. And pork spicy chicken breast fillet burgers for chicken burger night. We think we've got a big bag of chips there, McCain chips. And then some of the frozen veg. We've got some broccoli. Uh, what's that in there? Chicken burgers, chicken burgers, half price chicken burgers for the kids. Uh, potato pops, peas, more potato pops. That's about frozen and done. Uh, and then Joseph and Alex have been doing the nut because we've run out of these, haven't we? They love these. A lot of crisps. Yeah, but we we haven't got any crisps. We've got through pretty much everything, haven't we? To be honest. There hasn't been a lot of waste, has there? We've got through most of it. We just, we have a lot. Yeah. Rice cakes. Snacker jacks. Doritos in there. Knickknacks. And then over here, we have Golden Wonder. Space Raiders. There's quite a few in there. French fries. Sensations, what's it? Multi pack, waivers, and popcorn. Even table that popcorn. Like popcorn. Okay. Um, and then a few more, a few more in there as well. Yeah, squares, pom bears. Like right. Awesome. I think that's it. You look worn out.
Yeah. You look worn out. It's, it's, it's a good, it's a good shot. Off. It's a good shot. We needed it. We really, really need to top up tonight. Oh yeah, because everything anybody else <coughs> wore, we didn't have. Mm. Can I have? No, we haven't got any. Can yeah. I have? No, we haven't got any. Yeah, including Can myself. Can I have? In fact, we all had cheese and crackers for lunch today because that was all we had left. Which you know, okay, it's using up the Christmas crackers, as in food crackers. But um, yeah, that's that's all we had was a little bit of cheddar, and um, and some lettuce, which Olivia ate with some ham and and crackers because we didn't have anything else. Awesome, well done. Anyway, that's it for tonight's vlog, guys. Um, yeah, so please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop a like. Don't forget our link tree in the video description below for all of our social media and our, what's that? Oh, Diosa. Oh, Diosa. Oh, good. I bought you Diosa. How much do you reckon Diosa cost? I don't know. When was the last time you bought some Diosa? Uh, 99p was the last time I bought Diosa. So how much do you reckon this cost? I don't know. It's £3.65. Why is it £3.65? So use it sparingly. Why is it £3.65? I don't know. Why is it so expensive? Oh, it smells vile. Why did you smell it? I don't know, but it smells really bad. Why did you smell it? Smell it? Good. Let me tell it. You just said I don't want to smell it, I'm good. Anyway, we're smelling stuff now, guys. Oh, anyway, it like hands it's please fine. subscribe to our channel. Please leave out for notifications. Drop a like. Don't forget our link to the video description below for all of our social media, our Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And that just leaves us to say thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting us. Take care. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.